everyone, it's Missy from Creative Blessings by Missy, and I have a video tutorial for you today um, that I'm going to show you how to make this cute little, um, I call it an emergency coffee kit. So, but it's a cute little box. I'm sure we can come up with a million other ways to use this for other products besides coffee. But we recently did a blog hop featuring our test tubes, and I wanted to do something fun and different, so this is what I came up with. <clears throat> so here are the supplies you need. First of all, you're going to need some test tubes, and they are from our holiday catalog. They're actually on page, I think, 53. Yep. And you get 12 of them to a box for $5, so you need a pack of those so that you can do that. You're going to need from our annual catalog the Coffee Cafe stamp set, because we're going to use this greeting, Life Happens, Coffee Helps. And we're going to use the DSP, the Coffee Break DSP. So you're going to need those items. You're also going to need chocolate chip cardstock. And this is um, eight and a half by 11 sheets, or if you, um, whatever, but you're gonna cut it at six inches. So it's gonna be six inches by 11. And you need two pieces of that, okay? Um, I cut them together, and then we're gonna put it together from there. The um, measurements for your DSP, um, I used the one sheet with the coffee pots and the coffee cups, and the other side's the coffee beans. So that's what I used. And those measurements are two pieces cut at two and three fourth by three and a half. You'll need two pieces cut at one and a fourth by three and three fourth. And I just use the other side, the coffee beans. And you'll need two pieces cut at one and one fourth by two and three fourth. So that's all the pieces you're going to need. You'll need a couple of other things as well. You're going to need the um, layering oval framelits. And this is actually the smallest oval you're going to need from there. You're going to need the um, layering circle framelits. Um, this is the third from the smallest circle, the fourth from the smallest circle, and the layering um, scalp edge that just barely goes around it. So we're going to need those pieces. And then you're going to need... Um, swirly um sorry swirly scribbles thinlets and you're actually going to need the um not the smallest but the next size little wonky circle i couldn't find a circle small enough for the test tubes but this works it's very snug and they fit down in perfectly so and you'll need some fast fuse and some snail adhesive and your normal bone folder and your snips so and your trimmer so let's get started okay with your two pieces that are six inches by 11 inches you are going to score at, and I've already pre-scored this one, save time. We're going to score at one and a half. Let me move this down so you can see the actual measurements. One and a half. And you're going to score at four and a half. Okay? You're going to then turn it around. And I do something kind of uh, fun and unique. And I don't have, do I have a piece here? I do. My two pieces, I score them together because I want them to match up. I want the front and the back to line up perfectly. So we're scoring at five inches. So if you just line them up so they're both on the same line, seven inches, just move them across and score at seven. Score at eight and a half, okay? And then score again at 10 and a half. So two scores going um, up and down and four scores coming across um, horizontally. So, you have the two pieces all scored. The next thing I do, I'm okay cutting lines short distances, but five inches is a little long for me to cut straight, and I wanted a nice straight edge. So I'm going to use my trimmer, and I actually pull it down, because it's hard to see on top of the, the lines on top of the cardstock. I pull it down to, I know you guys can't see that, there you go, to five inches. So where we put that first score line going across, and I'm going to, oops, and that was my scoring blade. That wasn't my cutting blade. Okay, so five inches, and we're going to cut that. We're going to go over to the four and a half inch score line, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut that at five inches. We're going to rotate it to the five inch score line, and we're going to come down to that inch and a half, and come up from the bottom to that inch and a half, so that you're cutting out these tabs on both sides okay so you're ending up with with two pieces that look like this so you have the tabs cut okay our next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to fold and we're going to make nice creases. So we're just going to fold this up. And even that little half inch piece, you want to make sure you get a nice crease in there and your sides. I found it's easier to uh, fold those before you cut them. Your next thing you need to do is you're going to cut on all these other little score lines to make the tabs for the box boxes. So we're just going to cut. And if you want to use your trimmer to do that, feel free to do that. I'm okay cutting. I might get a little off here and there, but it's okay. It's just a little bit longer than my snips, so I feel pretty confident with that. Okay, so we have that done. Okay, and when this folds up, you'll see it makes it makes a little box for one side. Okay, and these are going to fold in. It makes your little box. Okay, before we put the box together, though, we need to cut out the circles and the ovals. So this oval for the holder, I wanted to make sure I got it cut out. And if you put these together, it's too thick. You can't do it. And the circle and the two circles here, we need to cut out. So um, we're going to just apply our bigger piece of DSP with the coffee pots. And you're just going to make a nice little um, edge around the, the, three, the two sides and the top. This is going to be um, a lot of space here, and that's okay, because it's going to be behind the box. Nobody's going to see it. You're then going to take your oval and you're going to run it through the big shot. Figure out where you want to place it, run it through the big shot. When you get that piece back, I have another piece here. You're going to go to the second one you're doing. And you're basically going to just take a pencil and make a mark as to where that is. And you're going to put it on and run it through the second one. Once you have both of those done, we're then going to just take, and I don't have these done yet, but I'm just going to show you. You're going to take and you're going to put the pieces that don't have the DSP together and just put a lot of snail, um, a fast fuse, sorry, and put it together. So when you have it together, it's going to look like, here we go, ta-da. So I've got my two sides together and I've got my flaps. So when it sits up, this is the middle of the box, okay? The other thing before you um, go much further, you need to take your little swirly swiggle circle and you need to cut these out of the big shot. So you're just gonna put them on. If you're a perfectionist, figure out the measurements. I eyeball it and I'm okay. And then you're going to take the smaller, those two circles you pulled out of your layering circles and it's gonna go right there for your K cup. So both of those cutouts are on not the half inch, but the next two inch piece in from the ends, okay? So you just need to make those cuts before you assemble. So we've got all this together. Now we're going to take and we're gonna put some fast fuse on places. So the inch and a half center section of these boxes, we're gonna put some fast fuse on that piece, okay? Okay, we are then going to fast fuse the inside, so you have to fold it up, of that half inch little tab at the bottom on both sides. So whatever you do on one side, you wanna do on the other side because we're making two boxes that are gonna to fold together. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, okay? And then we need to put fast fuse on the inside of the tab where you've cut the circles out of. Okay. I'm hoping everybody's following along. Okay, so we've got all of our fast fuse on. And just watch, because now I got it stuck in my paper. It's okay, it's gonna be inside. We're going to put this together. And in order to put this together, you have to fold it up to make a box. So we're gonna fold this up. And actually, sometimes I pick it up. Because I want, I want my edges to match. So I'm going to take and I'm going to make sure they match and press them a little bit. Okay, this piece I'm going to tuck inside of that side. Can you see? Okay, right there. And then it's just going to fold down. It's 
just going to fold down over what's already there. Okay, and we're going to line up the sides of the box, and then we're going to push it up against the centerpiece. Okay, and it's kind of hard to get your finger in there to make sure it's secure, but you can, just to kind of get that top insecure. Okay, and we're going to do the same on the other side. Second verse, same as the first. You're just going to row it up to form the box, if that makes sense. I've done a couple of these now, so it's kind of getting a little easier. And once you have it together, this side's a little easier to fit in. And hopefully everything matches up. I'm a little wonky here, apparently. I didn't measure this one quite as well. Okay. I was trying to hustle and get this together, and I think I'm a little off, but we're okay. We'll make it work. Okay. Yeah, something's just not quite right there. Okay. So, once you have that part together... You're going to take your other pieces of DSP, your strips, and you're just going to apply them. The longer pieces go down the sides, and I am really off on this one. It's okay. This will be my sample. And the smaller pieces, make sure you're putting the adhesive on the right place. I almost did it wrong again, because I want the coffee beans to show. Go across the front. And when you have it all done, you're going to have all your pieces that they line up, okay? After you have all that done, you can put your test tubes in. I just put a little linen thread around them. Put your K-cup in, or your choice, and we just have to make a tag yet. And our tag is made by stamping on a piece of Whisper White. This life happens. Coffee helps. And when I went to cut it out, I just made sure that that was down. I left a little more room at the top so that I could um, put the linen thread through. And that piece of strip that you cut off when you cut the six inches down on the chocolate chip is the perfect size for this scallop circle. So you can get your scallop circles out of that scrap. You just need a piece of that. You're just going to take dimensionals and put them together. And then take a small um, eighth inch, quarter inch, whichever you prefer, punch and punch a hole that you can thread the linen thread through and just tie it fast. Simple, easy. Once you get the hang of how the box goes together, it really is not difficult to do. Like I said, I've just done quite a few here um, trying to film this video. So um, you just wanna make sure that your scoring is right on so that they fold together. Hope this helps with your measurements, guys, and how to put these together. Have fun, and I'd love to see what you create. Um, post your samples. On my blog because that's where I'm gonna post this video and I would love to see what you come up with. Blessings guys!